Gardelium is one of the six large mainline railway stations in Paris. Opened in 1855, Gardelium is a major hub for both domestic and international travel. The station is famous for its grand clock tower and Le Train Bleu restaurant. You can watch my other video, The Blue Train, to get a glimpse of this hidden gem in Paris. Can you imagine that? This iconic train station has been serving travelers since 1901. Gare de Lyon offers a wide range of amenities, including shops, cafes, and services for travelers, ensuring comfort and convenience. As one of the busiest train stations in Europe, Gare de Lyon plays a vital role in connecting Paris with other major cities in France and beyond. The train station has a total of three halls. Hall 1 is where you will find most of the long distance trains, includes TGV and Intercities train. It's also referred as the Grand Hall. Hall 2 is smaller than Hall 1 and is often used for trains heading to southern and southeastern destinations. We will head to Hall 2 from Hall 1 later. From Hall 2, I will show you Hall 3, which is used primarily for RER, Réseau Express Régional Trains, which are part of suburban train network in Paris, especially Line A and Line D. It is an underground hall. After you arrive to the train station, first you need to check your hall number. This is hall 1. You go to check your platform number on the blue screen. On the screen, you can see Intercity Train or TGV, which is High Speed Train number, departure time, and hall number. Also, the platform number, usually 15 minutes prior to the departure time. Now, I will walk you around and show you the different services, cafes, and shops. Self-service machine. Besides the iconic restaurant, the Train Bleu, a new cafe has opened, named after the great architect and designer of Gare de Lyon, Marius Doudrois. A tea with fresh orange juice and the croissant, 8 and 50 euro. Now let's walk to Hall 2 and Hall 3. It takes roughly 3 minutes. On the corner, you will discover an elegant coffee shop, Pierre Hermé. The passage connecting Hall 1 and Hall 2 is virtually a striking corridor with beautiful paintings. As you walk through, you will see artwork that showcases the history of train travel, including scenes of famous destinations and historical moments. The paintings in the passage are not just decorative, they reflect the rich history of the French railways and evoke a sense of nostalgia for the era when train travel was the height of luxury and adventure. At the junction of Hall 1 and the Corridor, an excellent pastry store that showcases the authentic French tradition. Two, and then on the right, Hall 3.
This is a hole two, which is smaller than hole one, has a sleek and a minimalist design, creating a streamline look that contrasts with the more traditional architecture of the rest of the station. Now you come to the screen to check your train number and the platform number. Different from Hall 1, where the platforms were organized by alphabets. Here in Hall 2, the platforms are organized by number. Hmm, interesting. I'm wondering if this difference of description reflects French sensibilities. How do you think? Starbucks, brasseries, shops, and self-service machines. So the hall three... You follow the signage, hall three, a descending passage to reach to the underground floor, Hall 3. Now you can see people are ready to head to the platform 17. Usually 15 minutes prior to the departure time, the platform will be ready. Both traditional tickets and a digital form of ticket are valuable. Then look for your class number and card number. In my next video, I will guide you through how to travel by train in France. Thank you for watching. See you next time.